Hi my dear kids, my name is Bindu Babu. I will be teaching you Max in this year. First of all, I am very happy to congratulate you on becoming the first grader. Are you ready for a wonderful learning year ahead? Yes, that is good to hear. So shall we start? Are you ready children? Yes, say louder. Very good. Today, I am going to handle mathematics. Today, I am going to handle mathematics. The first lesson in this term is pre-number concepts. What is our chapter name? Pre-number concepts. Lesson 1. Pre-number concepts. These concepts are very essential before start to work with a actual number. These concepts are very essential before start to work with a actual numbers. Do you think? These are quite easy concepts that you have learned your earlier classes. Right children? Okay, let us get started. These concepts are very essential before start to work with the actual numbers. Do you think? Okay. These are quite easy concepts that you have learned your earlier classes. Children, yes, let us get started. Comparison of objects. We will look into few examples. Look at these boxes. Oh, there are two boxes. Are you able to see? What is the color of these boxes? Yes, it is yellow. Are they in same sizes? No, they are different sizes. Isn't it? We can classify them as to two. This box is big and this box is small. When we can compare objects based on their sizes, we get big and small objects. I repeat, when we can compare objects based on their sizes, we get big and small objects. For example, Look at these pictures. This is a big tree and this is a small plant. Look at these animals. The elephant is big. The ant is small. Look at these balls. The football is big. The cricket ball is Small. Objects can also be compared based on their lengths. When we compare objects based on their lengths, we get long and short objects. I repeat, when we compare objects based on their lengths, we get long and short objects. Look at these paint brushes. This paintbrush is long and this paintbrush is short. Long, short. Likewise, the hockey stick is long but the table tennis is short. Long, short. Look at these creatures. Oh, the snake. The snake is Long. The caterpillar is short. Long. Short. There is a pencil and eraser. The pencil is long and the eraser is short. Long. Short. Now, we know how the objects can be compared based on their lengths. 
now we shall compare the objects based on their heights when we compare objects based on their heights they can be classified as tall and short objects i repeat when we compare objects based on their heights they can be classified as tall and short objects look at this birds the ostrich is a tall bird but the kiwi is the short bird tom is tall jerry is short tall short this is a tall slide and this is a short seesaw tall short now that we know how the objects can be compared based on their heights have you ever thought why some objects can be easily lifted why some cannot well this is because different objects this is because different objects have different weights when we classify objects based on their weight we get heavy and light objects i repeat when we classify objects based on their weight we get heavy and light objects look at these fruits this watermelon is heavy but the strawberry is light heavy light look at these sheep this sheep is heavy but the boat is light heavy light so far we have learned to compare objects based on their sizes lengths heights and weights now let us learn to compare objects based on their quantity when we have two objects of different quantity one is more in quantity while the other is less i repeat when we have two objects of different quantity one is more in quantity while the other is less look at the box of sweets hi yummy now this box has more sweets while this box is less more less look at these plates of cookies the cookies in red plate of more in number but the cookies in blue plate less in number more less now we will have a quick review to summarize all those we have learned i have put all together in this table when we compare based on the sizes we get big and small objects repeat after me big small big small big like an elephant small like an ant okay next when we compare based on their lengths we get long and short objects repeat after me long short long short long like an snake short like an caterpillar okay next when we compare based on their heights we get tall and short objects repeat after me tall short tall short tall like an ostrich short like an kiwi bird next when we compare 
based on their weights we get heavy and light objects repeat heavy light heavy light heavy like a football light like a balloon when we have two objects of different quantities one is more another is less say along with me more less more less yes that's it we are done Chil children there is a homework for you you should draw two pictures of different concepts children there is a homework for you you should draw pictures of different concepts and below the picture you should write whether it is big or small long or short like that do you understand you should draw pictures of different concepts and below the picture you should write whether it is big or small long or short like that okay see you in the next session thank you